St. Louis Rams practice today for about two hours at the Continuity X Training Center with Missouri Governor Jay Nixon in attendance. The sweltering heat out here at Rams Park, about 95 degrees, did not diminish the pace of practice, but did result in some sloppy play. Wide receiver Chris Givens, the team's fourth round pick from Wake Forest, had a couple of drops, and Sam Bradford and Kellen Clements both struggled to throw the deep ball, fluttering some passes up there. Uh, the, the practice had a strong focus on fundamentals, but had a limited contact. There was some full contact uh, hitting going on, but the team held back a little bit on that with the, the team intra squad scrimmage tomorrow at the Edward Jones Dome. A lot of Friday's practice were center Scott Wells with a, a knee issue. Cornerback Jerome Murphy still has some scores. Fullback Todd Anderson, an undrafted rookie from Michigan State. The quarterbacks and wide receivers are still trying to get on the same page, and uh, they were their, their timing was was a, a little off. As were the offensive linemen, who are still trying to adjust to offensive coordinator Brian Schottenheimer's offense in a live situation. Robert Turner, the center, filling in for Wells. He did not have a good day and was blown up a couple times by defensive linemen and, and namely all week by defensive tackle Michael Brockers, the team's first round pick out of LSU. As far as those quarterbacks earlier, Portland Finnegan and Craig Dahl did have interceptions on those poorly thrown balls. Brockers, Kendall Langford, and Cornell Banks were a three-man rotation in with the first team defense at defensive tackle. Expect the defense to be ahead of the offense at, at this point, especially tomorrow in the scrimmage. That's normal with the quarterbacks and wide receivers, as I mentioned before, still trying to get everything down. And the offense, which has a few more quirks than the defense, still trying to get everything to gel together. Quinn Janaka worked with the starting offense at left guard, but was briefly replaced by Brian Madison after a false start penalty. As I mentioned Givens before, he was part of a steady rotation in that wide receiver along with Danny Amendola, Brandon Gibson, Steve Smith, Greg Salas, and Brian Quick. Finnegan and Janoris Jenkins were the team's two starting quarterbacks, and Jenkins got into a couple of skirmishes with running back Isaiah P, who really laid some lumber to their rookie cornerback at one point in practice that did not go over well with uh, Jenkins. Ojanaka and tackle Jose Valdez also got into it with defensive end Eugene Sims. One kind of thing that brought some levity to practice was seeing executive uh, VP of football operations and chief operating officer walking out to camp with a Twitter shirt that says, my name is at Les Need Hair. So there's something if you guys want to follow on Twitter, follow the at Les Need Hair account. Apparently there's also a Fisher stash Twitter account and some media members received the Jeff Fisher mustache that will be handed out in the team season open or home opener in week two. Brody Elridge and Michael Holtman Awanui were the team's two first team tight ends, which is kind of surprising considering that Lance Kendricks is the last year's second round pick is considered to be the team's top tight end. The Rams players uh, tomorrow at, at the scrimmage kind of don't know what to expect, but again, the defense should be uh, ahead of them. There will be a lot of hitting going on tomorrow, but the coaches will still try to hold, hold everybody back for uh, injury sake. The scrimmage will be held at the Edward Jones Home for the first time ever, I think. The last few years it's been at Lindenwood University, which is very nearby, but this kind of gives the, the players and the fans more time to have to what it's going to be going on and allows for more fans to actually attend. Less than half of the starting positions are spoken for, are spoken for so expect a heavy rotation. Lots of guys working in tomorrow. That's one thing to look out in. You might not know who these guys are, so if you attend the scrimmage tomorrow, make sure you got a roster with you.